Welcome to your community. This is your hometown. This is Walton Entertainment. This is where you can hear from the community and those making a difference. We explore topics, local festivals, arts and entertainment, and local news. For this program and much more, visit us online at yourlocalstream.com. That's yourlocalstream.com. Hello, Walton County. This is Kevin Little with the Chairman's Report on Walton Entertainment. Today I come to you with my last report for, uh, for Walt, as Walton County Chairman of the Board of Commissioners. I want to reflect just a little bit and tell you it's been uh, really fun to be the Chairman of Walton County. We've accomplished a lot in the last 20 years. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people working together, team, teamwork and cooperation, the cities, the school board. A lot of people in the community working together just to make Walton County a better place. Uh, started filming a uh, long time ago with Mr. Heineman. He used to film and then Mr. Paul Mullen started after that and we really enjoyed filming and coming to you on the uh, local TV station and giving you updates of what's going on in the county and what's happening. See a lot of you in stores and a lot of you out and about and you'll say, I saw you, oh, I saw you on TV. And so that was always really fun to me. You know, that, they know that people are watching and seeing what's going on. Uh, um, it's the <coughs> Christmas season and Happy New Year season, and so I'm gonna wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Hope your families are healthy and continue to be healthy. <coughs> We're still in the midst of this COVID crisis. They got the vaccinations out now, but they say it's gonna be sometime in the early spring before uh, they get them around to everybody that may want them, and so, uh, but uh, please, please try to stay safe, wash your hands, social distance, and uh, wear a mask when it's appropriate. I know we'll be all gathering for Christmas celebrations, and uh, we'll probably let our guard down, but be very careful there. Check the temperatures, and if anybody's feeling the least bit bad, please ask them not to come. I know it's a Christmas celebration and things, but just be safe, because we want you to be here for many years to come. Um, as I wrap up, on my 2020, it was quite a year. If you look back over 2020, we started off very strong. Everything was running good. Then COVID come along and it kind of grind, grinded to a halt. Working here with our constitutional officers and Carl Morrow, our EMA director, we were able to be one of the first uh, counties to open back up. We opened back up uh, and, uh, and was able to get people in and out. I thank the uh, judges that worked with us on that. And also uh, want to brag a little bit on Jody Johnson, our Parks and Recreation Director. We were one of only two uh, counties in the state of Georgia that uh, run spring sports. He, we met with the governor and the governor's staff and, and met all the protocols, sat down, and we had a very good season in June and July there. The parents were really involved and they really enjoyed that. It was the first time that people was able to really get out of the house and celebrate and do things and they were in very good season and then we rolled into fall sports a little cautious and though <clears throat> the football programs worked and soccer programs worked very well now we're in basketball and uh, it is it is work we cut from three games down to two games that way it gives everybody the opportunity to clear the gyms before the next teams come on so parks and recreation is very strong in Walton County the senior aerobics as uh, <clears throat> Valerie had extended those out, <clears throat> had more days and had more training. The senior adults were really missing that time together and so she's worked with that. So parks and recreation from you know very small age all the way up to senior adults has been taken care of through this COVID and my thanks is to Jody Johnson on a great job him and his staff have done to make that <clears throat> sitting in your home and sitting you get very depressed. So being able to get out is really big. But uh, um, we did ride on into, we were able to roll the millage rate back this year in the county. Got a lot of good things coming on and uh, looks like very promising financially for the future in Walton County. Uh, we've set a lot of things in action and I think the board and the new chairman will be able to, to, to march forward and uh, continue to carry Walton County into the to 2021 and 2022 with uh, good financial reports. Looks like. Uh, some of the major companies and corporations that we have signed on down at the Joint Development Authority and other areas, are their, their uh, taxes are starting to come in and they're looking very promising. And we also have a 
couple other prospects that should be announced sometime in 2021. Uh, with that, I will uh, wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I have accepted an interim role in Barra County, so I'm just going to be across the Appalachian River. Uh, if you ever need me for anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. Hi, this is Jody Johnson, and I'm here in between Georgia where we are still in the midst of uh, construction on the, the uh, there's several elements. I don't want to just call it a splash park, but that is one of the elements that we'll have open this coming up spring. Uh, we'll also have uh, a dog park. There'll be three little uh, fenced-in areas, one where you'll enter, one where small dogs can go, and one where the bigger dogs can go. We'll also have uh, pickleball courts here by the springtime. And a couple other elements will be a nature trail and a frisbee golf course. So it's one of those parks where it's a destination park for the entire county where Monroe, Loganville, Social Circle residents or the people that are around those areas could all come to one area that's very centrally located in Walton County here in between Georgia. So I'm sure you'll see some shots. And again, it's under construction, so uh, bear with us as we continue to, to work on it. Our crew with the, Walton, the Recreation Department uh, crews are out here lay inside as we speak and uh, you know even though the side probably won't start growing until april we wanted to get it down make it look somewhat finished and uh and keep some of the mud down uh throughout the uh, winter months so we have our guys here behind us they're doing a great job we're in the last couple pallets of sod uh out here in 35 degree weather and uh getting it done so uh we appreciate it we want everyone to have a merry christmas and stay safe our basketball program has continued to to go well and we're taking a lot of precautions with that uh, we spaced out the games. We've got uh, it, the way people enter and the way people exit is in different locations. We're not allowing too many folks to come in and watch the ball games, unfortunately, right now. But we're staying safe, and uh, for the most part, we're doing a really good job with it and uh, all of our employees. But we are going to take a break for, for Christmas and the New Year's uh, once school is out, uh, I think, this week. And then uh, we'll come back around January 6th or so and continue our basketball season. You need to be looking for the uh, spring registration, which is coming up here in uh, the first of january as soon as the kids go back to school we'll pass out the flyers uh, uh to all the kids and uh, spring registration will start i suggest you sign up early we're uh, one of the programs that people know that uh, we're going to figure out a way to have it um, and uh, so you know we're going to have our baseball and softball soccer uh, and our track program so look forward to that as well uh, so again merry christmas have a happy new year and uh, from all the recreation department staff uh, we, we want you to have a good christmas so until next time and remember sportsmanship starts at home and stay safe thank you hi welcome to monroe walton center of the arts today we're blessed to have chris Guga here playing the harp this town really is like mayberry especially this time of year um, when people come out and do really special things for our community and that's just one of them he's just fabulous he builds these harps and um, Hopefully he will have a harp in our members show, which is, I guess, kind of our big news. It's coming up in, in January. We have our members show starting. Uh, the drop-off dates are January 8th and 9th. And if you're a member, um, you're pretty much in. There are some common sense guidelines you have to follow. Everything is on our website, MonroeWaltonArts.org. Uh, under the call for entries section or you can come in to the center and pick up an entry and guidelines form it has everything you need to know on it but it's $35 if you're a member and you can enter up to three pieces you don't have to enter three pieces but you can and the categories are 2d which en encompasses any kind of flat work like painting um, mixed media, collage, pastels, anything like that. This in that 2D category. 3D encompasses sculpture. Um, and then we have um, pottery um, category, which is, is fun. So we have a, um, anything utilitarian that's pottery would go into that category. We have photography. Um, and we have the youth category. So um, we have that category for ages 10 to 17. So um, that's our big show coming up in January. It'll be here through uh, the middle toward the end of February. And then our student shows start. So uh, we will get the year off 
to a great new start with that. Um, this week, you've just got a couple more days to shop uh, for Christmas. Uh, we will be open Christmas Eve till 2 o'clock um, for those last minute shoppers, but we will close at 2 o'clock on uh, Christmas Eve and then we'll be closed Christmas Day, of course. Um, so Merry Christmas to you all. Starting in January, we'll have all of our classes will be starting back. Our Art ASAP After School Arts program is for ages uh, 7 to 18. And we've got three different classes divided up by age groups for that. Um, we've got our pottery for adults and for kids. We have drawing, we have knitting, we have woodworking, um, we have our Walton Writers group. So all of our groups will be starting back and classes will be starting back, uh, kind of taking a break uh, during Christmas, but everything will start back that first week in uh, full week in um, January, I think. Uh, Tuesday is maybe the 5th. Anyway, classes will start then. So go online to MonroeWaltonArts.org and take a look and see what we have going on. Feel free to come into the center and pick up a class list to see what we have going on. Um, and we hope to see you soon and a very Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. You're watching Walton Entertainment. I painted that about three years ago, and I always wanted a, an eagle, but I don't have any artistic ability. So I was contacted by somebody through Facebook that offered to do an eagle uh, and pose on the flag and also on the far corner coming up you know, from the east on spring. So we're, I'm working on that as well. And this young man is doing the, uh, the eagle for us uh, just to celebrate you know, patriotism, celebrate the spirit, and give something to the people of Monroe to be proud of. Much like we did with the flag, but this is even nicer. Tell us about any comments that you've gotten, if any, about the flag. Uh, a lot. There were there was quite a bit uh, when I initially did it. There were awards thrown out there from veterans of foreign wars, the daughters of the American Republic. It made num numerous newspapers and of course went viral on the internet from as far away as, as Germany and Japan and and uh, I never did it for uh, any publicity whatsoever. I got started in a small church in Montana of all places doing a mural for a little small youth room and after that I could never put down a spray can again. Just adding a little more patriotism to brighten up walls. That's basically what I'm about is making walls pop and inspiring others to see the talent that's put into some of these murals. There were, uh, there was a, um, a few more things going on between three and four years ago with disrespect to the flag and I just thought it would be a great, great way. Also it gave me an opportunity to meet some of the people, um, you know, the leaders in Monroe as well as, as the sheriff, Joe Chapman, and and uh, we became good friends actually over the flag as well. Basically, color on a wall, it, if I'm putting color on a wall, it inspires others, which inspires me to keep doing it because once you see color on a wall, it gives you a sense of hope. Creative artists can offer you a wide range of video production. Call the experts and discuss your project today, whether it's your special event or your company. Creative Artist, 770-267-7368. Creative Artist produces this program you're watching. Call Creative Artist today, 770-267-7368. Creative Artist, they'll put you in the spotlight. Happy holidays, everybody. I just want to remind everybody that it's uh, 
getting very cold outside, make sure you remember your animals, make sure they stay warm. Uh, remember any kind of weather advisories, they cannot be chained outside. Um, so just make sure everybody stays nice and warm. We hope you all have a happy holiday season and look forward to showing you some new animals. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! With colder temperatures headed our way, some forget about the many animals left outside. ETC Georgia is giving a reminder with the distribution of free hay in the community. ETC Georgia is a group of concerned animal advocates, dedicated to ending the cycle of animal abuse and overpopulation in our state. It's really nice, I mean, the chickens get plenty of the hay to keep them warm and they'll be able to run around and when it rains, it'll keep some of the mud out of the pens so they don't get so wet and damp down. It'll just, it'll be good for the chickens. Do you have? Oh, we have six chicken and two dogs. Okay. Aww. Make sure you keep them real warm. Hey. How are y'all? Good. How are you? I'm okay. Sure. How many pets you got? Uh, well, I got two goats. I got five ducks. I got uh six chickens. I got uh, uh let's see. Oh, and one miniature cow. Joe, <laughs> story shot yesterday. So we'll test this out. Uh, it's not that heavy. Hey, can you fit one more, you think? Probably. My car can fit an eight-foot Christmas tree. Pretty cool. Oh <laughs> wow, yeah. We try to give out straw every year. ETC goes around Walton, Monroe, and now Barrow. And we give out wheat straw to, to mainly dogs because dogs are the ones that are chained. And, um, you know, we worry about them. So we started this because of dogs, but it's, it's more than dogs, it's cats. There's so many feral cat colonies around and um, so many people trying to help the feral cats. In fact, we have um, 10 that we're, you know, working with. And also, I mean, people have bunnies, they have goats, and it's a hard time for everybody. And we just, you know, we love to be able to help like this. We got the donation of a full trailer full of wheat straw, which is like the greatest thing ever to us, from an anonymous donor. Well, we know who the person is, but they would like to remain anonymous. Uh, they love animals and uh, love helping and love what we do. So it's a great team. And when we heard about this, this was like the greatest thing ever, knowing that we had an entire trailer. Of yeah, it's, it's like straw. it's like it's like most women like diamonds, but you know, <laughs> this like is it. our diamonds. <laughs> Oh, got so many feral cats. It helps out. Being able to only live on so much it helps. So.
And you said you made the harp. Yes, I built these. And this is a what vintage? This is a prototype from a drawing of what harps looked like in Ireland in the 1600s. If you've ever opened a bottle of Guinness, this is the harp on the label. If you've ever seen the Irish flag, this is the harp on the flag. Now, does that harp, is it like the ones today where one note makes three notes? One I, string makes three notes. I can make sharps or flats by using these levers right here and I can adjust these levers to give me the sharps or flats that are on the key signature of sheet music. For instance, right now it is in the key of A minor and each of these strings represents one of the white keys on a piano. If I use the sharps and flats to make, for instance, D major, then the F would be sharp and the C would be sharp. And it would be in the key of D, for and, instance. Uh, People don't realize that a piano has three strings to make one note mm -hmm. and a harp has one string to make three notes. That can be true, yes sir. <laughs> that is interesting. And how long have you been making harps? I started studying luthier work when I was stationed in Germany because I'm not much of a party person so I don't drink or smoke and I had a neighbor that worked for a company called Hubert Hahn and he let me apprentice with him on the weekends and uh, when I retired from the Air Force in the 1990s here to Mayberry, um, I realized that nobody locally was making harps, so I tried to make one or two a year since then. That is great. It's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And if anybody's interested in a harp, uh, could they get a hold of you? They can go to Stever Studios. Hi there, I thought today we would read The Gift That I Could Give. It's written by Kathy Lee Guilford and it's illustrated by Julia Seal. Let's read. I'm one of a kind. I'm my very own me. Exactly the person God made me to be. When I was small, right from the start, God poured out a gift deep down in my heart. What is this gift I to use as I grow? When will I see it? How will I know? God Will you show me this gift I can give as I grow and love and I learn how to live? Could my gift be a wonderful thing like having the talent to dance or to sing? Or could my gift be giving my all and helping my team by passing the ball? There are so many things that I'm really good at, but what if my gift is much different from that? Maybe my gift is just to be kind by taking care of stray animals I find. Maybe my gift is to cheer on a friend 
so he can run that race to the end. Or maybe my gift is to lend a hand while keeping the beat with the marching band. Or to visit a sick child in a hospital bed. Or to raise some money so hungry kids are fed. Or to give my family an extra big squeeze. Is it possible that my gift is all of these? All God asks me as I grow, love, and live is that I show others the gift I can give. Then He'll help me find ways to give it away as He lives in my heart every moment, every day. His love is the gift that I can give. The end. Amen.